After a nearly a year off the field, youth sports in San Diego are back on track after a judge's decision to let them play, but they'll have to adapt to new rules in the COVID era. And Fox 5's Jason Sloss joins us from La Jolla tonight with how game officials will also have to adapt to new guidelines. Jason. I think we're all really not only eager to get back on the field, but happy that things have moved in the right direction with COVID. Kevin Haas is a veteran high school football official and president of the San Diego County Football Officials Association. If you'd have asked me three or four months ago what I thought about doing football, um, COVID was such a, in, in such a bad shape that you know, I'm a healthcare worker, and so part of me was saying, this is crazy to even think about it. There's no way it's going to happen. The football official part of me said, I can't wait to get going. The governor shut down youth sports last month. March because of the pandemic. Since the start of the year, the Let Them Play movement applied full court pressure to allow youth sports to resume. Amid a positive trend in COVID cases, a court ruling last week allowed youth sports to resume countywide. But there are strict CIF guidelines and modifications, and that also goes for game officials. Haas says changes begin with pregame preparation. We have to be masked up before we get there. Normally, we would have an opportunity to go into the, to one of the locker rooms and change into our uniforms. That stuff is all gone, so we'll show up in uniform ready to go. Um, most of us will probably carry a little bottle of hand sanitizer, um, but there's no sharing of water bottles or food or any of that stuff. During games, football officials will also use new gear to help prevent the spread of the virus. Everybody's going to be masked up, right? And then the question is, well, how are you going to blow your whistle? Because of COVID, they came up with this special mask, so it fits over like this. And the time comes for me to blow a whistle. I can just stick this in my mouth, maybe give a timeout signal, etc. While guidelines require weekly testing for athletes and coaches in high contact sports, Haas says there is no mandated testing for officials, but they will be screened before games. There really wasn't anybody that said, I'm really worried, I don't think I can do it. As far as I know, um, as the president this year, I think everybody is ready to go. If somebody chooses not to officiate, that's their option. And our focus has always been on two things, really sportsmanship and safety. He says the expectation is when officials get to a game, they will be in good health. Anyone who does not feel well should not be on the field. Also, he adds they're looking to add more qualified officials. So anyone who's interested will have more information on our website at fox5sandiego.com. In La Jolla, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, thank you.